Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. On Salvage Hunters. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow, amazing. Drew goes head to head with the Lord of a Manor. 1200. Tell you what, 11, we'll do it. 1200. Cheers, James. Cheers. Thank you. Uncovers hidden treasures in an Oxfordshire brewery. That's got to be worth a £1,000, hasn't it? <gasps> and drives a hard bargain... Is it really cheap? ..with a fairground fanatic in Essex. How does 600 sound? Way too much. Drew Pritchard is one of Britain's leading decorative salvage dealers. Oh, it gets even better. Wow, nice original frame, no rot. He scours the country in search of weird and wonderful objects. Boom! <laughs> Now, that I would like to buy. He'll even venture abroad into uncharted territory. Let's go. My family started this farm 1,200 years ago. 1,200 years ago? Yeah. There's nothing he won't buy. <sighs> They're in great shape, aren't they? With help from his wife, Rebecca, and a team of renovators, he transforms thousands of items from junk to gems. <laughs> At Drew Pritchard's Antiques in North Wales, the showroom needs to be kept stocked. Drew knows pieces of British history sell well. So where better to seek them out than at quintessentially British locations? And with rare access to a grand stately home on the cards, Drew and T snap up the offer. The Lord of the Manor is clearing out several rooms and thinks there will be things of interest to Drew. They're making the two and a half hour journey from base to Carlton in Yorkshire. You know my love of country houses? Yes. Probably it's top five. Really? Top, top ten. It's this one's staggering. Hi, I'm Lord Gerald Fitzalan Howard, and this is my wife Emma. And we are at Carlton Towers in Yorkshire. Well, there's been a house here since um, Doomsday. We've been living here, the family, since about 1301. It's absolutely everything is obviously original as you see it. We haven't changed a thing, have we? Nope. Nope. The present house was extended in the 19th century by Edward Pugin, making it one of England's greatest examples of a neo-Gothic Victorian house. With such providence, could this prove the perfect opportunity for Drew to buy a piece of British history? Oh, look at that. That oh, is... That is something special, isn't there it? There you go. Of all the country houses we've been to, number one... That is wonderful. Look at the door furniture. Wow, T. <laughs> Check this place out. This is... Wow. Proper job, I think, as they call it. God. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Drew. I'm nice Gerald. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Drew. Very nice to meet you. Drew. Hi. Drew. How are you? Very nice <laughs> to meet you. Hi. I'm Gerald. Hello. Good to meet you. Um, <laughs> what can we say? Wow. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Welcome. Amazing. Welcome Breathtaking Carlton. house. Oh, well, thank it's you am very much. amazing. I mean, we go around country houses a lot. We're very, very yeah. privileged, and this one just knocks them off six. The condition of everything. This room's amazing. It looks so original. Well, it is. I mean, this was done in about 1870, uh, and it's never been restored. It's 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 how Ooh. it is. And you've got a man's head on the fireplace. Well. Sar or Saracen. Yeah, that's the yeah. Saracen. Yeah. Saracen. Saracen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to a Saracen. Oh, yes. There. What's the significance of that? Um, I think it was one of my ancestors was in the Crusades, right. and he beheaded a Moor in front of the King of France, Spain, and England, or something. Um, so the head was then presented as the as the family crest. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, that's wonderful. Yeah, so he... Presumably, he was about to kill him. I think he was about to kill him. Yeah. Presumably, he was saved yeah. his life. Was, I'm yeah. assuming. I'm assuming it wasn't just for the hell of it. No, <laughs> they weren't going to get on after that point. Um, were they? The fact that it's untouched 
unrestored. That finish on the walls, the finish to the paintings, to the chimney piece, to the floors, to the furniture that's in there that's original is totally untouched again. That's rare wherever you go. To find it, you know, over here in Yorkshire is incredible. It just gets better. Everything I look at. Um, that's what the house better. was. Oh, I that's see. And it was called Carlton Hall then. Carlton Hall. The clock yeah. is the original clock that is still up in the tower now, that is dated 1777. So I can say to Americans, you know, my clock is as old as your nation. <laughs> um, and it's been ticking ever since then and still ticks up there. Drew could indulge himself all day, but it's time to get down to business. First stop, the cellars. And the wine cellars through there. What's this then? What country house? Um, this, this was in an auction years ago. Yeah. We, had, we had a sort of a attic sale. Yeah. But it didn't sell. And it never so, sold. No. That's a shame. It's not a terrible thing, is it? Yes. Well, that's it's rather it charming. It hasn't got a massive retail appeal. No. That's the only thing I would no. say. Okay. But okay. it's got something about it's it. It's got a charm. It's got a charm, but it's yeah. also it's in pretty bad condition. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit ropey. Yeah, I think it would you. break if you, yeah. so, if you if sound we like sat a dealer it. trying to get I, a I, I, I love the magazine <laughs> rack, don't you? Um, it's I almost, you could almost argue it's a bit naff. It's got a magazine rack. That's still pretty sturdy. It's just some of the caning. Really, this here. I think Gerald, we should try and get this. I think we should restore and that. And you've got I some really caning on there as well. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it's charming. I, I, funny enough, I'd forgotten that it in fact wasn't. It's not that ropey. No, it, I'm just looking at. No, this, but this so your problem. Yeah. No, no, I'm not saying you'll say it, but I think we you've could use it. Yeah. It's eminently usable. It's, yeah. it's, you reckon? Yeah. It doesn't really fit in with what I do, um, and there was a little bit of damage, so I wasn't sort of paying too much attention to it. And then uh, uh, Emma was sort of saying, <laughs> I quite like keep it myself, really, and that's okay. A little bit of work for them, or, or none at all. Give it a wipe, and they can use it. But for me, I'd have to do the work. So you know, we're going to leave that, and they're going to use it. That's fine. We've got. Big country. It's like, like an old dressing oh, up wow, box. Look at that. Oh, look at that topper. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Do you think that's yeah. a. You could have that for one of your Laurel and Hardy movie comments, <laughs> true. <laughs> a good it's maker. So, um, look how beautifully they're made. Just look. Mm. In there. Wonderful. You can sort of tighten it to your. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> that is you, worryingly actually. suits you. How about <laughs> this, though? Yeah. I want to see you I think in this that's one. Probably, I think that's probably too small. I think you're more of a top. Nice. You look yeah. very, very smart. I'm yeah. more of a bowler, you're more of a top. Do you think, I think so? Yeah. I'm not sure about We've moved this. <laughs> no, not me. Not my thing. Trying to concentrate, really, on what I like. I can appreciate them, but I'm not going to buy them. I'll tell you what, I've spotted something else there. I do like the look of this. What's that, then? Um, it looks like... It just looks like just a normal estate sort of a food cupboard. It's got very, very tall casters on it, though. Oh, so, oh look, it's lined in steel. This steel-lined cupboard is bespoke and made specifically for the kitchen at Carlton Towers. It would have been used as an early Victorian fridge and could fetch around £1,000. That's yes. something we'd want to buy, and in yes. that condition, I think we'd probably be able to retail it. Or would that go retail-wise? In that condition, mm. it's probably worth about 400 quid. OK. Right. That's the thing. Okay. That, that it is in terrible condition. Yeah. You've got yeah, a problem yeah. here yeah. where the door's broken off, and because it's, it's pulled away, and see, yeah. see in here? It's pulled all that out of there. That's going to have to be clamped back in here. Another section let in so you can get the hinges back onto it again. And then just the cleaning, I think, would probably take more time than anything to clean all this steel up a little bit. Wire brush and... and no, 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 no. Lick a paint? <laughs> no, no, no. You can <laughs> no. Yeah, be easy. No. <laughs> a bit of farrow and ball on there. Well, yeah, no, well, no, well no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> no, take it, those casters off, put some new ones off, oh, and then no, fine. No, no. I, I think you should let me buy it now, just in case you want to restore it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we'll, we'll have a think. I have a that, think we'll about that one. Definitely have a think about that. That's... that's. But that is interesting. Because it's not going to be any good well, for it's us. Interesting. It might be. Mm. I don't think so, um, Gerald. I'm rather loath to sell things because Gerald, it's so interesting. I think. <laughs> well, we'll have a think. I'll that. give that thought over a cup of tea. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Emma was thinking, yeah, I want to get rid of it. Gerald wasn't too bothered. Um, so you know, don't push. You know, I, I don't like being impolite to people. I like to be honest, polite, straightforward. So we'll just leave it there and walk away. With the deal on hold for now, Lord and Lady Gerald take the chaps to a storage room upstairs. Perhaps there'll be something there that they would be willing to part with. I like that. 
Isn't it wonderful? That I like a lot. Isn't it yeah, absolutely that's wonderful? Super. That is quite good storage, I'm afraid, for us at the moment. Oh, that's not. Well, return. There you go. Oh yeah, it's full, isn't it? It's absolutely <laughs> chock of chock a block. That I like. Well, when when you decide to get rid of that, that's definitely mm. my uh, sort isn't of thing. It? I mean that in a uh, in a kitchen, be? in a big kitchen. Um, something like that. What would I pay for that? A uh, little bit of damage. Eight hundred. Bit of damage. Where? Damage, that's character. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's damage. That damage. And the handles are missing, the handles all need changing, so it just needs a little bit of messing around. Else. So and that's got... not that's not for sale at present then. No, yeah, we've okay. got um yeah. I'll tell you what, is this it? is this is nice. Uh, please tell me, Drew, what that is, because it's um I seen... God, we haven't seen that for ages, I know. have we? I've never quite knew what it, what it was. I'm trying to think it's either a copy or a real one, I'm not sure. What? Of a grand tour piece. A replica of an ancient Roman temple, this marble souvenir was probably brought back by Lord Gerald's great-great-uncle from an educational tour of the continent. If this were fully restored and had all the pieces intact, it could be worth a staggering £2,500. Is this something you'd get rid of? Um, I think Probably, maybe. yes. Would a couple of hundred pounds buy it? Uh, if it's priceless, I, I mean... If it's not <laughs> priceless. If it's priceless, I'd have given you a big lump of cash and run off with it by now, but it's, it's not. It's, I don't no. think it's priceless, and um, I was at a fair recently and a guy had a whole stand full of them. It was a very yeah. nice mm. fair, but it was uh, there was a few of them there. But I genuinely don't know... I think sort of five sounds better. Five. <laughs> yeah. so, well, not to me, no. Mm. If I went to... If I said three, I think I'd be happy there. Um, OK, can we think about it in the round with the other things? OK. All right, so if there's maybe yeah. some more, if we find something else, Well, maybe. or the other thing in the cellar, maybe. Oh, is that that's potentially for sale, that's then? That's potentially for sale. OK. Now, that's music to my ears. That's great when people want to do that, when they say, OK, well, let's sort of group some pieces together. So I thought, OK, great, game on. That means he's thinking the cupboard downstairs and he's thinking that at least, you know, so we're in a place where now he's definitely going to sell things. That's the country house cupboard. That yeah. is stunning, isn't it? That's super. There you go. Yeah, yeah you'd love I'll take that. it. This is absolutely... There you go, bam, the piece I want to buy. These things, they couldn't be more in vogue if I tried. They're just so fashionable to have one of these in your kitchen. And I'm thinking, you know, I'll pay thousands for this piece right now. This is this is used. This Our is life is in there. Yeah. It that is, is a it super, is, super that is cupboard. A properly that is, it is, really is. That, I love, that's got it all. Yeah. Do you like that too? I do. I can, can you see sort of see that as right well? House in the right place. Isn't that it wonderful? Amazing. It wouldn't end up in a, in a scullery. It would be sort of, you know. It would be in a sort of very smart, would it? Normal kitchen. Wouldn't yes. It? I mean, a absolutely. Very big big Cotswolds kitchen. Absolutely. Can in the corner, all scraped yes. back. That's a cracking piece. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's happy here. It doesn't worry. It's very. <laughs> no, well, John, it's very happy here. And Mom, it's and when we, we won can't. the lottery and we buy our Cotswold house, that's where it's going. But for, <laughs> for now, it's, it's staying here. Now. here. Instantly, Gerald. No, not for sale. Still using it. Can't blame him. The reason these things don't come on the market very often is the fact that they're fabulous storage. They're super looking, and they're just a cool piece of furniture. If there is such a thing as a cool piece of furniture, to me, that's it. Moving on, a table catches Drew's attention. The bit I can't ignore is this thing. Oh, that is hideous. I, yeah, I it, is, just, it is hideous, though. It is hideous. I just hate it because it is weird. Crafted in Central Europe in the late 19th century, this table's wood has been blackened by using dyes and stains, a process known as ebonizing. Original to the house, fully restored, it could sell for around £1,500. I don't like it, no. I have to say, but there is a market for it. So um, presumably you have to buy things you don't like a lot. No. Oh. I try not to. I, I genuinely, seriously, I try not to buy things that I don't like. Because you want to be passionate about them and, and want to restore them, and presumably. Yeah. And I want my customers to sort yes. of. Because you get regular customers and regular clients looking for things for you. Yeah. Um, and they're always after the, 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 the better things in your style. So you sort of. Somebody clicks into the same aesthetic as you. That's how it works. Yeah. This sort yeah. of isn't mine. I do have somebody I can sell it to, though, so I'm thinking, well, I can group that one in. It's ugly as sin. It's horrible. You know, it really is. It's a not something I'd want to have in my house. But I know one thing, there is a market for it. It's got a lot of problems. So you don't think of... you'd probably be interested in taking it? I'll buy it at the right price. OK. If there's a profit well, we'll in it, a... you know. Yes, again, if there's a profit in it, we take it. But, um... Yeah, yeah. Um... What would the right price be, do you think? 
350. I think that would be, yeah. Okay, we'll think in the round. Think in the, the round end. again. So we've got in this, the, the, the little pillars, pillar. and, and the thing, thing downstairs. Colors. So what did we go to on the pillars? 300. You went to 300. 300, 300 on those. 350. 350 and that. what was the thing what in there? We decide on the cupboard? I went in, because I was talking to you about that cupboard downstairs in a way of roughly what it was worth, and I went in a little bit too high. I should have come, I should have, I should have, seriously, I should have gone at three because of the condition. That's where I should have been with it because the condition is right. not Would so you, I, mean, listen, I hate to say, but we are just not going to be using that cupboard. Yeah. No, I know, but, you know, one doesn't... Um... So you've got three, 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 three fifty, nine fifty. So if we go to twelve hundred, we've got a deal. Twelve hundred quid. Um, Tell you what, 11, we'll do it. 1,200. <sighs> 11, 50. Is there an echo here or something? <laughs> uh, no, I uh, seem to have some hearing from... 1,200. 1,200. 1200. Yep. 1,200. That's it. Yep. Job done. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. Go for it. Yep, I'm happy with that. Go on. 12, I could be completely silly. off. I could... Great, great uncles. You could be, but I don't know. Because I'd have to be, if I knew more about the value of that, I would tell you. Yeah. Um, yeah. OK, deal. Done. Deal. OK. Thank you. Cool. Drew drove quite a hard bargain, I think. I mean, he's a... He's you a, he's very a, he's good. A, well, I did my best, I guess. OK. Yeah. Right, ready? Yeah. I'm just going to move it about four. Today has been an absolute delight. I've been to one of the best country houses in Northern England and bought some incredibly unusual things. Sometimes you really have to look at myself and my job and go, I really am the luckiest boy on the planet to be doing this for my living. Wonderful, fabulous day. A great day, fabulous house, and thank you so much for what we bought. Much appreciated. Okay, take care. See you again. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you again. Thank you. Bye-bye. One of the best country houses have got to be one of the best country houses in England. Can't be many finer in private hands. Back at base, Rebecca, daughter Grace, and the rest of the team are there for the van unload. Now, where's Gav? Can you give us a lift with this, Gav? Uh, it's very, 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 very fragile. It snaps if you touch it. So that's just to go in for a light repair and a clean, Gav, please. It's amazing. If you grab the bricks, I'm all right with this. OK, Gav? Yeah. Right. So it was heavy. <laughs> nice, huh? Go that way. Why the weight? Why it's steel cold. lined? Designed to cold keep something hot. cold or hot, oh, wow. you think. But it's uh, it's got a fair bit of age to this. Bricks. That'll come up really nice and that'll, that'll sell quite easily, I think. What it'd be used for again, I don't know, but I think it will sell quite well. It'll come up really nice. And the last item from Carlton Towers is shown off. OK, so there's this. It's really attractive, very collectible I've as well. I've never seen anything like it. It's a souvenir. From, 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 from the, Greece? From the Grand Tour. Well, it could have been, I think, Italy. And I've got two customers, one trade, one private, who will, who will want it. Drew has had a call from one of his contacts at an old family brewery. They're modernising the buildings, so there could be some original items for sale. It's possibly a great chance for Drew to buy a piece of British brewing history. The brewery is 195 miles away, in Hook Norton, in Oxfordshire. We're going to a brewery. Hey! And it's our job. Hey! <laughs> so, so where's this brewery? This brewery is in a place called Hook North, and we're going to see a guy called James, who is the now managing director. I'm James Clark, and we're here at the Hook Norton Brewery in Oxfordshire, the home of Old Hooky. Um, the business dates back to 1849. Some of the buildings on site predate that, uh, but a lot of the original equipment is still there, and a lot of it is also still in use. Um, very traditional tower brewery, and probably one of the finest examples of a working Victorian tower brewery surviving today. I possibly will might have to chase, taste the beer. And I'm not allowed, because I'm driving. You're going to enjoy me enjoying beer. Brewery Lane. 
This will be it. That's the one. Clues in the title, isn't it? It is. What a fantastic building. Look at that. That's lovely. That's brilliant. Look at that. It's like a Transylvanian beer count Amazing. place. Yeah. James. Yes. Hi. Drew. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Welcome to football. <laughs> we're very pleased to be here. Well, we're yes. very pleased you're here too. You own a brewery. Oh, <laughs> it's a dream. <laughs> Absolutely, and a lovely brewery at that. It, it is. It is. I have to say, spectacular. It is absolutely beautiful. Any chance of a tour? Absolutely, a tour and a tasting and a And a tasting. Oh, oh, lead on. Tasting before the buying, I think. He's driving. Yeah. <laughs> Not fair. Before the real work begins, James takes Drew and T on a tour of the site. This building's lovely. Look, it's still all original as well. Beautiful, isn't it? Wow, this is a spectacular building, isn't it? This, this is this is the, the copper house. I love this. This is proper old engineering again. Just all this. I love it. There's nothing about this building I don't like. Every Including testing the malt grain. That's as close as you're going to get to a pint today. <laughs> Drew won't find any historical pieces here, so it's off to the cellars. It's empty. Wow. So this is the old, what we call the balm cellar, where they used to keep the yeast prior to the days of refrigeration. Yeah. Um, and now it's a storeroom or resting place for lots of our old wooden casks. So it's just old casks in here, is there? Is there anything else in there? As far as I'm aware. A lot of people would buy those, but for me, they're not quite interesting or exciting enough. You know, 15 years ago, I'd have bought all of them. Now we're much more selective, and uh, I only buy things that I really just absolutely love and have to have, and uh, I didn't have to have them. No, nope. no, just wooden barrels. Just wooden barrels. OK. Thanks, anyway. On to the next place, please. Drew and T are led to an outbuilding that's full of discarded and original items. So what, um, what's this place, James? Well, this is what was the original grain store, so... Well, I've spotted a couple of bits that I love already, right. to be frank. A lot of them. OK. Which is over there. Oh, oh the lamps and the... The lamps. These two you're after? Please. OK. Yeah. Let's take the weight. bits in it, yeah. You OK? OK. Can you... And I did also spot another two down there as well. Right. Okay. Are you up to gravity? Yeah, there's, there's, there's one more really, really scabby one down there as well. Okay. Too. It's in appalling condition, but it is lovely. Really like this. OK, and then we've got this one here. That one's had a hard life. Yeah. That one's... That one's borderline whether that's worth having that fixed. That one's been dropped and bashed. Those ones are a pair. The shape's good. I really like the shape of those two, but that's the one for me. This is lovely. You've got this here and you've got this woman's face. See this? On there, so you've got, like, a headdress. Men of cast face. Could be Britannia. Mm. So, so. Made from cast lead, these lanterns are taken from pubs that are still owned by the brewery. The largest comes from the Coach and Horses in Banbury. It's in such bad condition that it will have to be taken to a specialist restorer. But after being returned to its former glory, it could retail for around £4,500. OK, so are these for sale? Uh, potentially, yes. OK, so what, what's, what do you want for this one? I'd have absolutely no idea. It's a tricky one because it is a good one, mm. but it's a very expensive one to restore. This bent glass section glass here is going to be really pricey. Oh, yeah. I reckon there's 600 to 1,000 pounds worth of glass bending in that to fix that lamp. Is there? Yeah. Um, I'm thinking sort of 250 for that one. Uh, that one, that's one we'd leave. I don't think it's really up to much, that one. No. No, I can appreciate uh, that. Um, these two over here. I think we'd probably go to a couple of hundred for, for the pair. I think for it's probably pair, realistic right. for those ones, not each. They're, they're quite plain, but they're a good shape and they're a pair, which is always good. What do you think? Are we anywhere near? Um, I've really no idea, so I have to say no. We want 
be looking to go a bit higher. Three hundred. I think we're moving somewhere closer to that. Yeah. So if we're saying what a couple hundred for those, three hundred for that, five hundred for that. If we did five fifty for the three, done. Yeah, if we can a bit nearer six and we can be done. Shove a glass of beer and think about it. <laughs> um, I tell you what, I'm trying to get you drunk. Doesn't need to. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it five seven five. We'll do a deal, and I'll have a glass of beer as well. Okay. All right. Good Thanks, done. James. Wonderful. I'll just have a glass of beer. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. That's going to cost not hundreds, that's thousands to put that right, mainly because of the bent glass and the condition of the overall object. But the difference from what it is now to a finished item, it will be just remarkable. Okay, so uh, where are we off to next, James? Well, I think we might just have one more item we could be interested in, which is uh, around the back of the brewery. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yes, definitely. So this, um, only Definitely came, my sort of thing. Came out of service uh, two weeks ago. That's got interior design, home and garden, gold written all over it. I'd sell this to a, a, a lady with a very, very nice house, probably in the Cotswolds, nice. who will want to have it on some nice stone blocks, all planted up outside your house, just look beautiful. This copper trough is a highly desirable piece of architectural salvage. It was used as a sink to wash the utensils from the fermenting room and, with minimal restoration, is worth around £1,200. Um, what sort of money, then? Where do you want to be? Um... Because you were very good with other negotiations. Yeah, you mentioned selling it to someone in the Cotswolds, so that's got to increase the value. No, um... they're quite poor in the Cotswolds <laughs> these days. That's got to be worth £1,000, hasn't it? <gasps> You're kidding. Really? Not to me, it's not. I thought it's from 1899. So. No, it's a it's, decorative thing. Yeah. It's just decorative, a thousand pounds is... Where were you thinking then? I'm thinking sort of 350 quid. It's got to have some mounts made for it. You can't just sell it on the floor like that. Right. And it also narrows and it's not a big one. They're the nasty points, the plus points of the colour and its originality. So that's where I'm at. I don't really want to pay any more than that for it, to be honest. We're a bit apart then, aren't we? We're quite a way mm. apart, but I think I'm being quite fair. Mm. Mm. Um, no, I'd be looking for quite a bit more than where I think you are, so... Really? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Um, if I came up, I think I could come up to 380. I think that... That's pushing it for me, really. It's got to be a margin in it for me. It has to be. Yeah, I appreciate it that. Yeah, be. yeah. Well done. But I think we've still got a way up arm. I don't think we're going to quite get to where we would probably like to be. Yeah, your start-off point was just way too high for me. Mm. Uh, final offer, 400. It's, you know, it's not like we're not, we're not trying to steal it off you. No. It's just things have a value. Yeah, no, and, absolutely, I appreciate and, uh, there's that. There's only so far I can go before the margin is so tight it's not worth me bothering with. Mm. It's great, but it still has to have... Uh, uh, yeah. It's still got to have a margin for me to be able to trade that out. So what do you think? 400 quid? Not really, no. No? No. I don't OK, think we'll have to agree to disagree. Agree, yeah. Shame. OK, we'll stick it back on the stand. We'll still have that glass of beer. OK. <laughs> Not being able to buy something like that once you've found it actually really sort of narks me and I feel a bit sick. I think, oh, God, I'm gutted, really. But I've got to buy it at the right money. I've got to buy it at a price I feel comfortable with. Everything's got a price. A hard day's salvaging needs rewarding. But with a 195-mile journey back home, only one salvage hunter will be able to sample the beer. Okay. Cheers, James. Cheers. Thank Good you. Health. That's really rather good. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's good. I'll have some more. Yeah, but uh, you look like you're really enjoying it. Mm. There's two things T really loves in life. There's his girlfriend and there's beer. And beer comes a very close second, I'm sure. So to make him drive today so I could have a beer was very cruel. But that's the way it goes. I'm the boss. Anyway, cheers. Thanks, James. Cheers. No, it's been a pleasure oh, coming really to good. the brewery. It's uh, been wonderful, haven't we? We've had yeah. a great time. Thank well, you no, very much. Delighted to show you around. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Okay. Thank you very much.
Uh, Yuffie? Um, yes. James was a nice chap. He was, yeah. Uh, sure. But he wasn't going to let me have anything cheap. No. Well, he's a businessman like he's yourself. A, he's a businessman. He's got his money to make. He sells beer and you sell... Beautiful things. Beautiful things, OK. If that's the words we're looking for. With more quintessentially British items loaded onto the van, Drew and T return to Conway. So we've just back, got back from um, uh, Hook Norton Brewery. Br where someone had a beer. <laughs> <laughs> And what time did you have a beer? I wasn't driving, he drove. Yeah. But and we got some good things. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Isn't it? Nice, isn't it? Very nice. That good is, looking. That's a great find. About the right size, not too big, not too small. Loads of detail. This is going to be, mighty, as we know, mightily oh, expensive to good, have these yes. made. And we need two. That is going to have to go to a specialist. It's going to have to go to not just some bloke who's a bit good at lighting, this is going to have to go to the top boy in the country who does all our very, very specialist lighting for us. It's going to cost, you know, at least a couple of thousand pounds to put that right, I should think. So it's sent down to London, to one of the top restoration workshops in the country. This is a massive undertaking. Taking out the old glass is a delicate job. Before the new curved glass can be fitted, the years of hardened putty on the frame need to be removed. Most of this is crumbling off because it's really old, but where it won't, we'll put a flame on it and that will uh, make it softer. Stripper works magic on the layers of old paint. And a new fixture is attached so the lamp can be hung up. With a, with a wax, I think it'll look great. Will do, won't it? Mm. Coupled with the wobbly glass, when that goes back in, it still looks thoroughly original. Drew has always had great success selling old fairground items. With a desire to buy more, Drew has put out some feelers. A circus showman and private collector has got in touch as he has some pieces to sell. Drew takes tea on a five and a half hour journey to Harwich on the Essex coast. We're off to see a guy called Ed, who uh, runs a uh, circus for uh, schools. Hi, I'm Ed Meredith and we're on the sunny Essex coast. I've just been collecting stuff the last 30 years since I was little. Fairground artifacts, bits of stalls, animals, carousel bits, circus posters, you name it, I collect it. Ed has all his items stored in trailers and sheds in the back garden of his house. You know how much I love fairground art yeah. and antiques yeah. and anything to do with it. I absolutely love it. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not entirely sure what he's got. So we're here. There you go. That's the one. Yeah. Go and say hello. You must be Drew. Ed. I'm Ed. Pleased to meet Hi, you. Nice to Hi, nice to see you. How you doing? How are you doing? doing? Um, a right. good trip? Yeah, no Excellent. problem at all. You know why we're here? Yes. I'd love to see your collection. Let's go and have a look. Come on. We'll take you down to the back. OK. You can see the trailer. Right, watch the bushes. We're in Narnia in a minute. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you're, you're, you're in heaven now. <laughs> OK. Have a little look. Now, it's not all for sale. Strikers for sale. Oh, you got the whole thing, have you? Yeah. There's Striker to use another thing. You hit it with the will, 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 will someone buy the whole of that, though? I need to put... Oh, yeah. One of your yeah, players. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm quite keen. It's very exciting for me to see all this stuff. Oh, so right. what I might do is maybe come back, come back and have a look at the Striker okay. setup, maybe later on. But um, I wouldn't mind doing the tour of everything yeah, first. Yeah. I do like these panels. Sure. You've got sort of uh, anything that's old fairground panel painting. Anything like that, pillars. carving? Yes. 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 There's uh, some all of that for you to look at. Lovely. All right, let's all go there next. Perhaps these panels from a fairground ride will be Drew's cup of tea. What age is this? 40s, 50s? I would think so, yeah. A little bit of renovation on some of them, but there's only a couple like that. Yeah. So these are just the base, these are just the base kick panels that goes all the way around, yeah? Yeah, there's about eight of them. And then you've got everything with it, tarpaulin. The whole thing. Tops, the whole lot. OK. 
Um, no. No? It's not quite... It's, I know what you're saying. Yeah. It's not, not quite good. there. Do you know, um, I like... Yeah, condition's gone against this one, to be yeah. honest with you. You can tell. A, a lot of this fairground stuff that we find... Yeah. ...cos it's used. It's a job, yeah. isn't it? So it's, it's warm. It's working pieces. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think... No. OK. I like it, but I've just given myself a huge headache if I bought these. Fair enough. Yeah. We'll take you over. Unfortunately, the, uh, Drew isn't bit. finding the right sort of pieces his customers will want to buy, so they continue on. Uh, more hidden... more hidden depths. Right, come on in. Oh. Oh. So yes. Like, like those? Yes, thought you might like those. Yeah, what are they off? They're great. I think they're off the front of a ride. Yeah. 1920s, maybe earlier, don't know. These have got what I'm looking for. They've got old paint, old gilding, they've got obvious age, they're real, they're completely unrestored, and there is four. The bad news is one of them's cracked and one of them's been cut down, so really what I'm looking at is one good pair, one broken one and one that's just for bits, really. The paint's good. The paint is good on them. Yeah, um, well, it's original, isn't it? The you standard of the paintings, uh, I think, cleaned up. They should, uh, they should look good, but they can't repair the painting. They're just going to have to be sold as is. These fairground columns would have been placed at the front entrance to a ride and were designed to appear as if they were from an exotic part of the world. After a quick wipe and wash, the four columns could be worth around £850. OK. So, yeah, so it's just down to price, really. You know what you paid, so what would you like? Right, for all of them? For the lot. For the lot? For the lot. How does 600 sound? Way too much. Well, we've got to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. Let's start really high. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I ask you too cheap, you'll say yes, please. Yeah, and well, I'll yeah, my hand off. So, yeah, well, what no, are you thinking? Uh, I, w I was thinking about less than half what you're asking there. So you're thinking, what, 300 ish? No, that's half. Less than half. Less than half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Than half. So, because I'm me, looking at them as a, a pair. And then I've got an odd one to sell, and then I've got one that's not useless, right. but it's it's not yeah. far off useless. It's going to sit in the shop and sell for 30, Peanuts. 40 quid. Yeah, because yeah, it's just. Give me around. a figure that you're thinking of. I th I'm thinking 275 for these. Uh, four will be better. Four, four I can't do. All right, four well, I can't do. Can you go up from where you are? Um, if you go up a little bit, then a little we'll, bit. we'll probably be getting there. Um, tell you what, if I went. If we went, I'll go to three. I'll go to three for the four for the four pieces, three hundred quid, and that that is me done. Yeah, done. Go on. Thank you. That's All fair. Right. That's a good deal. Okay. That, that's great. Okay. Well, let's All get right. these out of here. Let's see them in the light now as well. Literally, it's a wipe with a cloth, a little bit of wax, and they're ready to go. They're, they're the right size. They don't have to go into a huge project. They can go into somebody's a normal sized living room. These will take those. They're not massive. So all in all, a good buy with those. Happy with those. I'll let you go first no, with that no. one. I'll tell you what, hang on, I've moved these. Oh, what's... Seen the posters, tell tell you... Are these originals? Yep, yeah, all originals. God, you've got loads here. Yeah, I've just got some out for you to see what you like. That's American. That's nice. Look at that, that's great. That's an original? Yep. 1960s, 1950s, somewhere in that area. That's great, isn't it? Mm, probably around about 80-ish for about 80 pounds for that. But for if you have a few, pounds. we'll do a deal. These mid-20th century American circus posters were posted around town several weeks prior to the show's arrival. Colourful and glitzy, they are highly desirable and, once framed, can sell for around £240 each. You know, like yeah, it's American, original. The bits that make it for me it's, it's, it's this, all the action, isn't it? It's that. The... It's this. It's this young lady here flipping right over and yeah, and, and just, just the little things that they're on. You know, it's yeah. just. I know in this country that the English ones are much more collectible, but over here I'm not thinking about fair collectors. I'm thinking about the decorative market and then putting them on a wall in a restaurant or somebody's house or a flat or an apartment. That's what I'm looking at these for. That I like. So how much is something like that worth? Uh, Seventy. Seventy. What and do you what, feel? Was the, what was the other one? Uh... You were coming in at 80 for that one, were you? Yeah, but I'll do your deal on, yeah. you know, stuff. Depends what you... That one I like as well, just the colour of You really of that like one. the American ones, don't you? Th there's something... I know, isn't that strange yeah. to pick two out the same? I had no idea yeah. that was American. And then, same company. That's yeah, that's strange merged. as well. You want a pair price, do you? Well, yeah, if we went... OK. I, yeah, I'll take the pair. Yeah? 120. Sold. 
Thank Excellent. you. Yes, we'll have yeah. those. Yeah, okay. that, that, that's fine. Good. 60 pound a pop, we'll take those. Yeah. Strangely, out of that 100 posters that are there, the only two that I want sort of match. They're both American. They're probably around the same period. The colour and the condition's not great, but all in all, very, very decorative item. With the posters proving such a success, Ed goes off to get more, while Drew returns to the trailer to take another look at the striker. There, first time. Good, huh? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Thank you for That's stopping super. him. <laughs> How old is this, Ed? Uh, I don't it's know. It's not that old, is it? No. Um, just trying to think if it's got enough sort of decorative appeal. It's basic. It has all the swirls on it, but then no. again, it's original and it's wood and you like wood. Uh, is it really cheap? Well, make me an offer without insulting me. 50. Yeah. Because I'm just, to be I honest, do I, do I think for, right? what I think is original? Yeah. That. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. I don't think it's possibly the bell. Yeah. But to be honest, it's just that lump that. there. That's original. Everything else is new. This is plywood, galvanised, modern nuts and bolts, yeah. modern screws, modern type of look at you know sort of sort of font I've, on those. So I can't. That, it's it's a derogatory paid, offer to be perfectly well, honest no, with I've you. Well, no, I pay double know. that for it. But yeah. it's you just, go a little bit. Well, we'll see what you do on the posters and... Uh... OK. Ed turns up with another fistful of posters and we start going through them and instantly I'm seeing lots of them that I like. Colour, superb. Yeah. Great, isn't it? All original. And again, it's the same period, it seems to be the same sort of fairground, it's the same type of paper, it's the same colours, it's the same printing method. All of those are coming through every time and again and it strikes me straight away, I thought, great, I can put a collection together here. So start, start, hit me with some prices. There was two of those. Five in total, there's two of them and two of them. But they're different shows. Yeah. So it depends whether you want to buy just one of the design or you want to buy all five of them. Because well, what, what I'm now, now thinking, I've got a good collection, to, yeah. basically, to put together. Which is nice. Which is much nicer to somebody yeah. if they can do a whole project with this, really. Price, where are we? Right. All these mm. and that, 400. OK. How's that grab you? What I'm going to do is yeah. I'll, I'm going to discount that. Okay. The more I look at it, the more bits I realise there right. literally is okay. one lump of wood which is original. So that we're going to forget right. about it. Okay. And so you're valuing that at just over 50. So you're looking at these somewhere around the 330 mark. I'm looking at these for the 5 250. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did make the bell ring first time. This is true. Uh, I'll be happy with three. You'd be happy with three. Because it's in the same thing, but well, I'll tell you so what, one, I'll meet you in the middle. One, one, two, three. Two, seven, five. five. There you go. Two, Split seven, five. With you. Deal. Oh, Lovely. Yes, okay. we'll have those. Lovely collection. Right. I'm going to. Tr I'll try and sell them as a collection. A wonderful, interesting, different find. Particularly to find American fairground posters in Essex. Wonderful. Do you want to carry these to the van, so at least you've carried one thing ever <laughs> to the van? Drew may have set out to buy some British fairground history, but in the end, it was the American posters which won the day. All right, so just these. Okay. Down there for now? Yeah. Okay, Drew. Hey. Great to meet you. Thank you. Lovely day. Thank you, Ed. Lovely See to you. Much yeah. appreciated. Safe journey. Take care. Right, bye bye. See ya. See ya. So, circus, uh, sorry, fair stuff again. Circus and fairground, yeah. I love it. Is there a big market for it? No. No, not really. Um, you just like it? It's very much, it's, I think it's quite a closed and insular market at the moment. What I'm trying to do is sort of open it up a little bit. The posters, though, were uh, interesting style. The posters, yeah, I just, I mean, maybe I've got it really right or maybe I've got it really wrong. Right. I'm not sure. And I think the one of the women gymnasts that right. performing sort of tumblers, are they called? Yeah, tumblers. That one, best thing we bought today. Really? I think so. There would appear well, to be two swans in the middle of the road. There's two swans in the middle of the road. Hello, swans. Come on, mate. Come on. <laughs> Not having it. Where are you going? Yeah, yeah, he's going, yeah. he's going, he's going. He's going. Go around him. Why the swan? <laughs> there you go. Good lad. How's that? Not an everyday hazard. Swan. Yeah, swan in the road. Swanage. <laughs> swan delay aside, Drew and T head back to North Wales. Rebecca and the team are on hand for the van unload. There you go. That big heavy thing first. 
Yeah, we got these, but we'll have a look at those in the office later. Some nice posters in there. You'll like those. OK, look forward to that. So this guy, uh, Ed Meredith, his name was, and um, he'd just been into the fairgrounds for years. And we got these. Look at that. Stunning colours. Isn't that great? Yep. It's, called, it's polychrome, the type of paint. It won't be around for long. They're going to look great in a shop. So you can see those. You can stand those up together. They just look the business. Drew's keen to show Rebecca the circus posters. That's the colours. They're all American fairground and circus posters. But I just thought the condition was great. What do you think? You're going to frame them? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's enough of them um, that I can do something with. Um, they're just great looking, you know? When you put them up. These are just a super, super authentic, really, really good looking. And they're going to sell well, I should think. Easily. John and Gavin have it easy. To get the columns in shape for their debut on the website, only a quick wipe and polish is needed. That's what I like. Five minutes on the door. <laughs> I think we could sell them at a bit of a turn. Paid 300. Um, I think we should say 500, 550 asking price. Uh, but I don't think they'll be around long because they're a super decorative item, really decorative. Several weeks later, and the circus posters have returned from the framers. I'm going to group them like that on the website. I'm not going to put them on individually. It's something I don't do often, but grouping like this, I think, looks great. I love them. It's a real statement. Bang. You know, you could build a whole sort of games room for somebody's house here. You could do a whole bar, which is probably the most likely place where these will end up. I think they look just a million dollars in these frames. They're not a million dollars. That would be nice. <laughs> and it's the moment of truth for the lantern from Hooky Brewery, as it arrives back from the specialist restorer. Trying to check out really what's been done. But it's certainly great looking. Happy. Good. Happy. This is going to need to retail four and a half to four nine. But I mean, we've poured into this now three and a half thousand quid. But lamps like this are hard to find. Very, very authentic. Right, I'm going to put it down about there. The fact that it's authentic and not a reproduction, for me, makes it. It's beautiful and it's elegant, and anything that's that elegant is always going to attract me. Um, but for me, originality is where it is. I'm really not interested in anything if it's a fake. 